Governments, of course, distort energy markets. And one of the challenges for you is not just taking a guess on what energy prices are going to be, but your clients are also having to outguess what government policy will be. Because at the moment, you can find a government in one state in Queensland makes one switch of government policy and suddenly a whole load of stuff that wasn't economic becomes economic. Or a few months later, there's another government uh, decision and it becomes uneconomic again. So one of the things we have to do is we have to take a view as to where we think government will go. And remember that government policy is influenced not by uh, logic or rationality, but by emotion. So actually, we'll end up in exactly the same place. Take a guess on where Australian emotion is going to go, and you can take a guess as to where regulation is going to go. And so, actually, we could sit in a room and probably make some very accurate predictions. The only debate will be about timing. We'll say, well, how long will that let us actually take them to integrate uh, carbon saving in buildings uh, with, uh, with a national trading scheme for carbon? So that if, if, uh, if you install a massive system which reduces the energy footprint of that building by 50%, that company should be able to trade that as a carbon credit and swap it with, uh, with someone else so they can, they can actually sell that, as a, as a, uh, that carbon saving to someone else who needs to make a saving elsewhere. Um, it's not included at the moment in the new proposed national trading scheme for carbon. Buildings are excluded, specifically excluded. Right. So we can take a, government, we can take a guess and we know, of course, the government will include it. Right. It's only a question of when. And we can have a great debate about whether they will resist pressure for another three months or whether they'll hold out for a decade. But we know with the future it will come.